Hi, I'm Mary. Thank you very much for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. Before you begin this or any other exercise program, you'll want to check with your doctor. He will tell you exercises you should or shouldn't do. He'll also tell you things that you should do, like maybe you should do a little more cardio, maybe you should do a little more stretching. And that's great. Great. So check with your doctor and let him know what you want to do and he'll give you some great advice. Also, you'll want to wear loose, comfortable clothes like Carol and I have on so it doesn't restrict you at all in your movement. Today, we're going to be standing up, so you also have to be very aware of your shoes. Make sure you have good, sturdy shoes. No stilettos here, mm -mm. <laughs> or no slingbacks. You want to make sure you have some good, sturdy shoes. So make sure your shoes are good, make sure your clothes are nice and flexible, but they don't want to be too big where you like maybe get caught up in them. Also, you'll want to drink water before, during, and after our time together. And you want to work at your own pace by listening to your body. So if your body says, you know, I'm getting a little lightheaded or dizzy, then you say, okay, I am going to slow down. Or you might even want to take a break completely because we'll always be here waiting for you. Also, if Carol and I are going a little too slowly and in a very safe way, you could pick up the pace while well, you go right ahead and do that. So listen to your body and work at your own pace. Also, we're going to be starting from a chair, so we need to make sure that our chair is nice and sturdy because we'll be standing up and holding it onto the back of it to make sure we're in good balance. So make sure you have no rockers or wheels or on your chair at all. And because we're going to be standing up behind it, if your chair, or like if your chair is against the wall and you can't stand behind it, look around the living room or wherever you are to see if there's a table or a counter that's nice and sturdy that you can hold on to. Because we're going to be standing up, you're going to want to look up and make sure you're not going to whack anything hanging from the ceiling, like anything suspended at all, especially a ceiling fan. Like if we go like this with our towel and the ceiling fan would catch it and wing it right around, if somebody filmed it, it could go on World's Funniest Videos. <laughs> So you're going to want to check the sides also to make sure when we're working with our towel, you don't hit anything from the sides. You'll also want to look around you, especially behind your chair, or find a counter or table that has a good, clean environment underneath it. So our area is clean. And now we have to remember that when we work out together, in order to stay good and strong and healthy, you have to do it consistently. So a little today, a little tomorrow, because Carol and I are going to be right alongside of you, cheering you on to do the very best you can. Of course, if you smile by turning the corners of your mouth up, that always makes you feel better. And if you eat well, that makes you feel terrific. So remember, you can do this a little at a time. Let's meet Carol. Hi, I'm Carol, and I'm here to help you. I'm just learning myself all these little exercises, and I hope you can help me by doing them with us. I like to sing. I like to read. I like to go to musicals. Those are my favorite things. And I hope you can have a good time and join us now. Don't watch. Join. That's good advice because I've met people that say, you and Carol are just adorable yeah. on TV, but you have to work out with us. Right. So run around the house and get something like a towel. You could have a dish towel, but I would suggest something much bigger. Longer. But you can have a dish towel if that's all you have. You could use a pillowcase. What Carol and I are going to use are big old bath towels. But like I said, you could use a pillowcase. You could use a runner that goes. Does anybody use those anymore? I don't know. I use those runners. I, I have my grandmother's runners that went across the bureau. Oh. Yep. So anything, and if you say to yourself, well, my towel is in the washing machine, my other towel's <laughs> hanging out on the line, what can I use? My pillowcases are being washed too. 
That's okay. You can use a piece of clothing. So something oh. like a sweater. You could just use the arms of the sweater. And you could use your sweater. So you could use a shirt, a sweater, a pair of pants. There's no you reason that you can't exercise with us. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, <laughs> so have your water handy dandy and we are ready to go. Are you ready? Ready okay, to go. Okay, are you ready? Okay, here we go. We're going to begin just by marching. We're going to get our arms and legs going, and it's not so important that you get your legs high or mm -mm. move your arms big. All you have to do is move on just a little bit, keeping the chest high, and you want to work to the level that it's comfortable for you. We're going to get our marching hands. You'll notice that Carol and I are both at the very edges of our chair. We're sitting nice and tall, and now one leg is going to go forward and back. Here we go. Forward and back, forward and back. There you go. We're going to add the arms by stretching out and pulling back and squeezing our shoulder blades. This feels good because it's working the upper back and that's just what we need for good posture. You're doing great today. Now we're going to reach up a little bit and pull back and down. Reach up and down just a little bit. Reach up and pull, reach up and pull, reach up and pull. Ooh. Just two more, four and three and two and you are done. Whoa wee. Now we need a little rotation because it's not enough just to reach forward and back. We need to rotate. Good for our spine. Good, good for our internal organs. And good for our waist. Good for our waist. Yes. I love that. We cannot forget our Don't wonderful forget waist. Your waist. That's right. Now we're going to bring our fingertips up to the shoulder. And other shoulder. Down and up. Excellent. You got it. That's just perfect. That's it. Good. It's kind of rhythmic. We're going down to our lap and up to our shoulders. Then we're going to go right across our chest, right across the chest. So we're still getting that rotation. Our arms are a little higher. And believe it or not, we're going to make a rainbow. Woo. Here we go. Up and over, just like a rainbow. Always remember to do your best. If one arm goes higher than the other, that's OK. You're here, you're moving. Now we're gonna stretch up to the sky. Here we go. Stretch right up to that sky. Good, reach high. Excellent, remember to reach for the moon. If you fall short, you could land on a star. Ooh. That's always a good thing. <laughs> stretch up and okay. you're done right now. Let's get those legs. Touch out and in. Out a little and in. You don't have to go very far, just out and in. Keeping the elbows tucked in, thumbs up, bring one hand to the belly and the back of the other hand goes back. This is good for your rotator cuff, where the long bone, your, there you go, your humerus goes right into your shoulder. Good, good, you've got it, just four more. And three. And two, you are done right now. Okay. Are you ready to grab your towel? I'm going to try. Okay. Oh, so in wow. the beginning, we're not going to go all the way out. In the beginning, we're just going to roll it up like this so that our hands are closer together. Okay. Okay? Okay. You can do it long like Carol. Or, or you can roll it up like this. This is kind of thick, but... If you have a thinner towel, you just roll it up and make it shorter. Cool beans. Any length. Any want. length. That's right. So we're going to tap one foot forward. And we're going to keep one hand by our shoulder and bring the other hand forward. That's it. Now we're going to walk our hands down to our hips. The back of the hand comes forward now. There you go. Now we're going to bring one hand on the leg and lift the other hand up. Excellent. This is a brain exercise. You're doing <laughs> great. Four and three and two. Down and out. Let's make a figure right now. It goes down and up 
and out. You've got it. I think my, and my up. towel is really getting heavy. Yeah, I'm going to need it in a minute <laughs> to wipe my forehead. <laughs> That's true. If you perspire while you exercise, you just might need your towel. Comes in real handy. <laughs> okay, last one. You're done. Okay. Ah, that was a lot of work. Ooh. We worked the lower body in the upper body. Now we're going to get the lower body again so that when we stand up, we are really warmed up. So with this one, we just take the corner of the towel and you just let it stretch out like this. Then you run your hand down the towel and find the other corner way down Get here. There. Then you extend one leg and lop the towel over the middle oh, of the shoe. There we go. Then, if you want, you can walk your hands closer to your knee. Mm -hmm. Remember, our buttocks are towards the edge of the chair. We're going to lean back and pull our elbows back as we bend the knee. I'll show you from the side. We're going to lean back and bend the knee. Then we're going to push out and pull in. Because our buttocks were towards the front of the chair, this gives us a much greater range of motion. There you go. The arms pull it in and the leg pushes away. If you want more of a workout, try to resist with oh. your hands <laughs> when your leg pushes away and try to resist with your foot when your arms try to pull it in. Let's extend it straight ahead. Keep the little no. bend in the knee and bring it out a little bit and in. Good, good. That's great. Now, the backs of our hands are going to face the ceiling, and we're going to try to pull our leg up and release. Good work. You can tell that Carol was a dancer, and I am a dancer wannabe. <laughs> there we go. Good job. Okay. Up you go. One more time, and down. down. Okay. That was a lot of work on the leg, and you know what gets it? Our hands. So we press the heels of the hands down and we lift the fingertips up, spreading the fingers wide, lifting the chest up. Our shoulders are back and down. We feel great because one leg is done. So that's good news and bad news. The bad news is you've got another leg. So here we go. Grab and the bad news is I have arthritis, especially in this leg. So I can do the extension in this leg that I can in this. But remember, do whatever's comfortable for you. And if it starts to hurt, that's an alert. So do what's comfortable for you. That's what I do. I love it. If it starts to hurt, that's an alert. That's gonna be my new favorite saying. Okay. I love it. So. We go over the middle of the foot. Okay. We walk our hands down to the place where it's most comfortable. We lean back in a chair and bend the knee. Then we push the leg straight. There you go. You've got it. So our arms pull in and our leg pushes away. Now remember, you can add that resistance. As your arms pull in, your leg could say, I'm not going in. <laughs> and as your leg pushes away, your hands can go, I'm not going out. But sure enough, they do. That resistance training can actually be even better for you. You can get a better workout. You'll notice we're not snapping our knees, yeah. nor are we snapping our elbows. Now we're going to hold it out, and then we're going to bring it a little to one side, and then the other. Ooh, that's my bad way. Yeah. So, so I just, ooh, I just do it just as much as bit. I can. I can't stretch it out very much, but I'm doing the best I can, and that's yes. all you can ask for. Yay! Now we're going to make a little circle. Oh. You can make a little circle or a big circle. And now let's reverse it. Woo! Now the back of the hands go the, to the ceiling, and we pull up, 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 up. Great job, and we are done. Ooh so when we work like that, we really have to make sure that we stretch out those hands. So we're going to put the towel behind us because we're going to be standing up and using that towel. Mm -hmm. But our hands have been wrapped around the towel. We have to give them a little break. 
Put one hand on top of the other and push down. Put the other hand on top and push down. Great job. Push away. Fingertips touch. Thumbs are down. Good work. And then bend the elbows, bringing the hands close to the chest. And push away. Ah, hold the back sides of the chair and lean uh, forward. Aha. And now we're going to stand up. Are you ready? So remember, standing up is really important. We sit our buttocks towards the edge of the chair. We bring our heels slightly behind our knees. We lean forward with the chest and the chin, which are high. You may need to place your hands on your thighs or the chair. But if not, let's practice getting up by pushing the heels down into the floor. And up we go. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Up oh. we go. Woohoo! Okay. Let's go behind Made our it. chairs. Okay. We are behind our chairs. Yep. And we have our towels right on our chairs. There you go. And we're going to work with our towels. So we're going to hold on to the back of the chair before we grab our towel. And we're simply going to touch back with one foot and then the other. The toe touches back and then in. Back and in. Back and in. Now, you don't want to go too far back and you don't want to arch your back. If anything, you can lean forward slightly. And as you bend your elbows to do so, you're going to be doing a little mini push-up. Isn't that fun? That's good. Yes. And now we're going to lift the leg just a little bit, doing our mini push-up. We bend our arms, bringing uh -huh. our chest closer to the back of the chair as we're pushing energy out through the heel of the extended leg. We feel wonderful. Your bodies love to move and they're so grateful. And when you move your body, your spirit soars. Have you noticed that? I know, I know. I think that's fun. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna come right back to center. We're Here going we go. to try to touch the toe back and the opposite arm reaches forward. There you go. And switch. Opposite arm. Opposite leg, get a good stretch, come back, and switch, and switch. Good job, you're doing a great job. Our chests are there high, and our ribs are off of our last meal. That's important. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now, if you want a challenge, try to lean forward a little bit. Make sure you have a sturdy chair or a sturdy counter, squeezing the buttocks, pulling the belly in to hold that back nice and strong. Now, if you want to, if you'd like a challenge, let's grab the towel and try to lift both hands and alternate legs. Remember, pivot forward a little bit from the hinge on the hips. Okay. So we're gonna start easy. One, good. Two, good. Three, you're doing a great job. Four, now we're gonna leave one hand on the back of the chair and reach with the other hand. So if you need to, you can hold your hand on the back of the chair and reach forward with the opposite arm. Okay, if you're ready, let's try two more without holding on, oh. only if you can. One. That's not easy. And two. No, it's really Whoa, hard. Oh, that's hard. To that was a your hard one. It is to keep your balance. So we're practicing balancing too. So now we're going to start with one toe behind. We're going to bring the heel to the buttocks and touch down. That's it. Heel to buttocks. Make sure your knee is slightly back. Getting a nice stretch on the thigh. Good. Now, if you want, the towel's on the back of the chair. Let's see if we can pull the elbows up and wide, bringing the towel to the chest. For one, and two, and three, and four. Good job, how'd you do? I did good, but I'm glad that I have this chair here, just in case, because I almost thought I'd need it. That's true. That's true. We need true. that chair. We need our chairs. Let's try okay. the other foot. Starting with the toe back, keeping the knee back. Try to bring the heel up to the buttocks and down. Heel up to the buttocks and down. If you can only lift your heel I up can't. a little. 
See, yep. now I have to do it a lot easier because than the other hip. leg yep. because of my hip. And that's so important what Carol's sharing with us. Sometimes one side of your body will be absolutely incredible and the other side of your body will be getting that way. Everybody that's... has one side that's better. Even if you don't have any kind of uh, arthritis or anything like that, we're always one side dominant. So. That's true. Okay, now we're going to make it a little tougher. We're going to try to add that towel, but only if you're feeling steady. Four. Uh-oh. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Ooh. Good job. Okay, now standing behind our chairs, we're simply going to shift the body weight from one foot to the other. And then we're going to lift one leg a little bit. Try to make sure your toe faces front and you're pushing with the outside of the heel. So mm. we can lift the opposite arm. There you go, just lift the opposite hand. Alrighty, now if you're feeling quite brave, uh -oh, here, we, here go. we go, four, and three, and two, and one. How was that? That really works the outer thigh. So of course, then we want a stretch for that outer thigh. So we're going to bring one foot and touch it behind the other. Step and touch it behind the other. So you get a very, very nice stretch. Can you feel that a little bit? Good. We step and touch behind with the other, and we're really stretching out that thigh because our legs were really working for us. That's right. And also the outer thigh. Our chests are high and our shoulders are back and down. So when we're working the lower body, we want to think of what's happening with the other oh. body, parts of the body. Now, we're going to, if this is comfortable for you, turn and look down at the shoe that's touching back. Come back to center and look back. Now, we're going to take our arms and we're going to reach one hand back, one hand back, one hand back. So it's like we're reaching down to touch the toe on the opposite side of the body. That's excellent. It's That's like the curtsy without the curtsy. <laughs> well, we could add the curtsy. <laughs> we can and add then curtsy, we can go see? to England and That's meet right. the queen. I've always wanted to meet the queen. <laughs> she is so nice. I like her. There you go. Last two. And last one. Great job. Now we're just going to do a nice, easy standing twist. We're just bringing Ooh, our arms waist. to one side of the body and then the other. Now we're going into a deeper twist. We're going to slow it down by rolling up oh, onto the ball of the one. foot. There we go. Lift that heel. That's it. Our chests are high. Our shoulders are back and down. By golly, we feel great. Now we're going to push across the body. Push across. Draw Ooh. the bent elbow back. Just like you've got a bow and arrow. And we want to hit our target. Pull the other elbow back as you extend the arm. Last one here. Last one here. And you're done. Whoo -wee. We were working everything with that. We Not got... only our legs, but opening the chest. Exactly. Wow. We, we got it all. We did it all. Yippee! <laughs> so, for a stretch, we're going to extend one foot front. There it's... we go. I think it's time. For a little walk. I'm dry. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Ah. Thank heavens, Carol just better. saved us. Okay. So, one leg okay. front, slight bend in your base knee. Push the buttocks back as you bring the chest forward. Great job. And slide the hand down as far as you can. You can see Carol the dancer is really flexible. Then slowly come up and switch, please. Extend the other Let's leg. Push the hips back. 
Good. And then just slide down as far as you can go. Your other hand can be on the chair or it can be on the thigh for a base of support. And then slowly come up. This next one is kind of a hard stretch for some people. So again, you could use your towel. You could use your pant leg. But what you do is you put the towel like this, bring it right around. Oh. There you go. And try to stretch out that thigh. There's a slight bend in your base leg. I'm this is a terrific <laughs> stretch. You could oh. even grab your pant leg if you wanted to. Push the knee back just a little bit. Squeeze the buttocks. Oh, boy, I feel that. Can you feel that? That's stretching your thigh right here. And then slowly step down. Or quickly, if you have to. <laughs> Let's try to get that other leg. Okay, so you just put it around your leg. Get a base of support. Pull the heel up. Push the knee back <laughs> a little bit. Back. There you go. There you go. I got to do it the other way. And down. Wow. Ah, that was excellent. You did terrifically. We worked hard. We worked hard. So let's get a good stretch from a seated position. We want to stretch right up to the sky. Breathe in. And as we exhale, we're going to rotate. Hand comes across the body. And our other hand comes up and back. And we turn our heads and we look up and back. And then we use our eyeballs to see even more. Good. Beautiful. Slowly come back to center. Bring that hand across the body. The other hand comes up and back. We don't turn without get, getting our spines nice and straight. So we breathe in, lengthen the spine, exhale and rotate. Pull that thumb back, turn your head and then use your eyeballs to see even further. We don't want to forget to stretch our eyeballs. <laughs> then slowly come back to center. Ah. ah. Placing the hands on the thighs. Breathe in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, the flat back comes forward. Wow, oh, that's, that's great. Nice. Bring one hand to the opposite knee and slide the hand down. And then slowly come up. Bring the other hand, slide the hand down the shin. Slowly come up. Pull the shoulders up, back and down. You did just great. So now we're going to take a great big breath in. Exhale and shake out all your cares and worries. Ah, one more great big breath in. And as you exhale, know and understand that somehow, some way, all, all will, will be well. Because well. you you're strong and healthy. healthy. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.